as we talked about meditation and I think about my meditation practice, there are days where I go to sit and my um, mind, even in 15 or 20 minutes, doesn't quiet to that point where there's a possibility of watching a movie. What are you doing? What are you focused upon in meditation? I have a wonderful air conditioner app as well. <laughs> Describe to us what's happening that you realize is preventing you from getting to that clear space. I really think of it like being at, say, dinner and you're having a conversation with a friend and there's all the tables around you and they're having conversation and I can get to the point where I, I tune them out but those conversations never really fully quiet down. And so... Who are you tuning out? The friend across the table or the people around you? The people around me. So that you can focus on the conversation. Right. But the difference is that's an active conversation that interests your investigative mind and that's what we want to tell you that you're dealing with you've trained this mind to focus and think and so it's not the easiest thing in the world to ask it not to think because it's a thinking mechanism it's your point of attraction it's your awareness it's transmitting and receiving so we're just asking you to think about something that's boring instead of something that's interesting. When Esther focuses there right away, she begins to feel that. Do you? Do you know that feeling of detachment? Mm -hmm. Yes. And is the feeling of detachment, is it a good thing? Yes. Under these conditions, is it a good thing while you're driving? <laughs> no. Is it a good thing when you're having a conversation with someone across the table? Depends no. on what they're saying. <laughs> trying to help you. <laughs> well, you're right. Sometimes it's easier than others. So we're talking about focusing. Usually focus means to most people focus on a subject and cause the subject to become more. That's what focusing does. If you've been thinking about something, don't you notice that it starts showing up? And then if you get into a conversation with other people about it, don't you notice that the momentum on all subjects increases when you focus upon it? So isn't it logical that the momentum of a quieted mind would increase when you focus upon something that has not much to consider? And so just focus there for a minute. It's not the easiest thing in the world to separate yourself from the people you're sitting next to or from what's going on in the room and focus on that. But if you close your eyes, you can. If you close your eyes and just listen. Esther will say to herself, hear it, hear that, just that. Now, she's clearly in conversation while she's doing it, but within not very long, she feels the physical evidence of detaching from other thoughts. And that feeling of detachment is that vibrations that were active cease to be active. And now she's being called as a cooperative component to that broader part of her and once she clears the atmosphere of resistance and breaks into that no pull of gravity or no pull of resistance then the thoughts of her inner being are the movie she sees you see what we're getting at just play with this just play with it you're so accustomed to making things happen and we just want you to know you've made them happen. Now you have to let them happen. And by continuing to try to make them happen, you prevent them from happening. You don't let them happen while you're trying to make them happen. You can't focus on the absence of what you want and allow the presence of it. It's very different. This is such a leading edge discussion. And it is the piece that sometimes people just stumble on. There are a lot of people that are just that way in nature. You know them. Often they just won't focus with you. They're off in their own world. You see them sort of daydreaming. But as a society or as a productive member of society, you've come to believe 
that you got to be hard after it and when you are then you're doing a wonderful job and you're often even doing what we're talking about here but your conscious focused thought in comparison with receiving of this non-physical intelligence that is operating on your behalf it's the difference between a firecracker and an atomic bomb enormous power of non-resistant thought is what we're talking about and it's worth figuring it out it's worth going through the personal awkwardness of listening to the air conditioner it's worth going through the personal awkwardness of just for a little while not having a thought and seeing what it feels like it's worth seeing if you can accomplish within your own body the sensation of a quieted mind and then tension because those thoughts don't let go of you easily because the law of attraction has been summoning them there is a gravitational pull you're on your way you're sort of testing that gravitational pull but you're gonna break out of it and when you do ah, ah, that sensation of the releasing of resistance that's what we want you to go for the releasing of resistance will bring you everything you want and it will bring it fast but more important it will bring a steady stream of satisfying experiences one after the other that will show you your worthiness your blessedness your creativity really good thank you yeah We told him it would be brief it wasn't <laughs> but it's everything you ever need to know about anything that is important to you and for now we are complete well not really <laughs> we want to continue to play with you clarify some good stuff happening right here 